So today's video is going to be about the app of the day again, but it's going to be uh, similar to one yesterday. Yesterday was for ESPN desktop. We're now going to install the ESPN one for the phone. So we're going to go to the store icon, and once we're here, we're going to go ahead and do the search for, of course, uh, ESPN. E See how fast I type? ESPN. And we hit enter, and there's the ESPN app there. I'm going to click on that, take a look at it. Now, it talks about it being new because the, the phone came with one installed. You want to delete the old tile. But this is a, supposedly an all-new version. So we look a little bit more into the details, and it talks a little bit about the latest scores, blah, 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 usual marketing kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and install the application. And... If you notice, we flipped on the top of the phone and we're on a wireless network, so it downloads pretty quickly. And again, it doesn't use up any of your bandwidth when you're on your internal home wireless network. Or if you're at somewhere else that's got wireless and you have, you're have you connected to their network. So we're going to let it install here. Going to wait a couple seconds and see if we, we need to go ahead and uh, maybe trim the video up. There it is. And we click on ESPN. We say pin to start. And there's the ESPN logo. So we're going to click on that. So the first time through here, when it's loading up, and if it, for some reason went back to the desktop. Not sure why. I'll go ahead and go ahead and press it again and see what happens now. You may or may not experience that when loading yours up. And once I do that, we see that it loads takes a long time first time through but there it is now it's talking about how do you personalize it you can do all this different things and everything so you we browsed left to right to take a look at the video highlight spotlight top scores and all that kind of normal stuff we press the settings tab and we say there there's more sports uh, info about it so let's go ahead and press on alert settings and you'll see just like the desktop there's notifications there's tile notifications What's missing here, it looks like at first, is how to set up your own teams and everything. But if we go back and everything and we look around a little bit, uh, we, we might find it somewhere else. But sure enough, it's not there. So what's, where is it? So once we're on the screen, if we look around a little bit and we're trying to find out how to customize this, you'll find a little square icon in the very top left. And there they are. It doesn't use the usual Windows interface. He has their own interface here where you can add stuff. So let's click on My Sports. You can select different sports. And just like on a desktop app, I'm going to select uh, NFL uh, and under Football. And that's the only thing I'm, I'm interested in, so that's what I check. You can check as many as you want. Okay, if I go to there again and I say I want to go underneath uh, baseball and I want to use Major League Baseball, so that's fine there. So I go back. And if I go to my teams, I can select uh, the teams that I'm interested in. So I'm going to do baseball. This is a list of them by their name, not their city. So let's go down here to the Cubs. We'll click that and go back again. And click on plus there I want to go to football uh, click on Bears oh, uh, be, again because I'm uh, sort of uh, masochistic I using the Cubs and the Bears years of uh, disappointment there but anyway there I am I'm all settled in and everything I'm great I have my teams and all that so I can do that kind of things look at exactly the teams I want to see so that's how you install and set up your ESPN for your mobile phone, your Windows phone and everything. You can look around a little bit and check it out later for all the full features and everything. But that's our app of the day, Windows or ESPN Mobile.